Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to double your edit speed in Fortnite Chapter 2. Yes, finally, the video you've probably all been waiting for. Doubling your edit speed is literally a meme on my channel now, but you gotta admit, my editing speed has gotten so much better since the first video. Like, I guess you can say it's doubled. Nah, but I haven't made an editing tips video in a hot minute, so I thought now would be the perfect time. But just before the video starts, if you could drop a like and subscribe, that actually doubles your edit speed. Speed. And if you use code FLEA, that also doubles your edit speed. So you can quadruple your edit speed before the video has even started. Nah, but anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so tip one, starting off nice and simple, is get the best internet you possibly can. As you all probably know, lower ping does result in faster editing. Your ping actually plays a huge role in how quick your edits open after you press confirm. But also keep in mind that faster internet speeds doesn't always mean lower ping. Ping hasn't got to do with speeds, it's got to do with latency, and latency revolves around how far you are away from the servers. Unfortunately, if you're someone like me who does live far away from the servers, I do average around 55 ping, but I have done a lot of things to lower my ping, the biggest being an Ethernet cable. If you do play PC or console Fortnite and you're not plugged into your internet, then that's something you really want to think about because that will straight up drop your ping by 10 to 20. Tip number two, now this is one of my favorites, is press the buttons lighter. So whether you are on keyboard or controller, everyone automatically thinks that if you want to edit faster, you have to press the buttons harder. It's also kind of a natural thing and sometimes hard to avoid that when you want to do something fast, you inevitably actually press the buttons harder. But actually focusing on trying to press the buttons softer will actually speed up your edits because you're not pressing as hard, which means your fingers will actually come up off your edit buttons faster. So because you're not pressing with as much force, there's a lot less force to bring your fingers up. So your fingers are lighter, which makes them quicker. Tip number three is better crosshair placements. Now this tip is actually a two for one, so better crosshair placements comes with a custom crosshair. So if you guys haven't seen my how to get a custom crosshair video, I highly recommend it. I've had so many people tell me that building and editing has gotten so much better with a custom crosshair. So what a custom crosshair actually allows you to do is it allows you to see the exact center of your screen. There's not some big circle crosshair there anymore. You have that one little dot, which means you can perfect your edits. So as you can see, I have really good crosshair movement just because of the custom crosshair. Ever since I started using a custom crosshair like six months ago, my editing and building has just gotten so much better. It just makes editing so much easier because you always know where your crosshair needs to be before you've even started an edit and that is crucial for fast editing. And the next tip I have for you is smaller crosshair movements. So this kind of ties in with the last tip because you have good crosshair placement as well as a custom crosshair. You will now be able to use those two things to get the smallest movements possible and this is something that will speed up your edits dramatically because you're no longer doing four square edits like a big circle, you're only really shaking your screen to do the edit. It makes editing a lot funner and it makes your life a lot easier. All right, and the next tip I have for you and the OGs have probably heard of this one is practice editing without audio. So this one's super interesting and it's kind of like a unique tip that I found. The main reason I tried it is because I thought my headset had audio delay and I really wouldn't be surprised if a lot of headsets have audio delay, especially the cheap console headsets. And pretty much what audio delay will do to your edits is your brain will actually wait for the sound of the edit to open rather than you looking for the edit to open. So you you may be subconsciously waiting for the sound of the edit without even realizing it. But honestly, I urge you to try it. Try editing without audio, especially with double edits. You'll be able to edit so much faster because you're no longer waiting for audio cues. It's all just hand-eye coordination. And the next tip I have for you, now this is one that I haven't ever discussed before because me personally, I only just started doing this recently is practice unusual edits. And now these are pretty much edits you don't normally do. So if you're not used to, let's say, swiping backwards on a triangle like this, or maybe you always cut your walls down to the right, maybe you can start doing it down to the left or up to the left, like just do edits that you're not really, see how I'm already messing up because I'm not used to doing 
these like upward sideways edits, as well as with two tile double edits. If you're always used to swiping down, try swiping up. So as you can see, if I try swiping up, like it's just, it's such an unusual pattern to me, but the more unusual edits you learn, the more familiar you'll get with your analog stick or mouse. And that is the key for fast editing. Because when you're in a real game, you don't always have the perfect situation of edits being where you want them to. So let's say an enemy's ramped over me and I'm boxed in on my walls. If I'm always used to swiping down the wall like this, all of a sudden I have to swipe up, you might mess it up and go like this. So always practice edits of all angles. So the best way to do this is that if you're doing an edit course or in 1v1s, try to not do always the same edit. So if you're used to just doing one edit, try doing different edits. So maybe like a reverse C on the left, that's something I don't really do. So as you can see, I'm messing up a bit, but that just means I need to practice a little bit more. So there's a huge tip for you, unusual edits. The next tip I have for you is get the best edit binds you possibly can. So me personally, I actually use these edit binds. So I use R1 as select. I've said this in so many videos, but if you aren't using R1 or L1 as select, I highly recommend you do. Your editing will become so much better. Your reset and confirm binds is honestly just preference. I highly recommend putting most of your edit buttons to bumpers or triggers or paddles if you do use them. And as for your actual edit button, the most popular one I see in the community is touchpad edit. Although L3 edit is another good edit bind and paddles if you do have them once again. And while we are in settings, we can cover another tip, which is double edit binds. Double edit binds is the fastest way to edit on controller. Although if you don't want to get used to double edit binds, maybe it's just not your thing. Then I do highly recommend confirm edit on release because I did do a video testing them both and they're pretty much the same speed. If you aren't using double edit binds, which is a separate edit and confirm or confirm edit on release, then you aren't going to have the fastest edits that you possibly can. Also, while we are talking settings, I highly recommend playing on lower settings for faster edits. I have covered this in another video, but me personally, I did go on max sensitivity because I wanted faster edits. I wanted the faster wall swipes and I wanted the faster movements, but that is actually not the case if you do want faster edits. In fact, most of the fast controller editors, they do play on around 45 to 60% in their sensitivities. Just remember that the lower your horizontal and vertical sensitivities, the higher you can put your edit mode sensitivity. And definitely play on linear because linear has the best movement for editing. Another super important tip is find a good editing map. My favorite edit map at the moment is Raider 464's latest edit map because it's got so many awkward and unusual edits that I don't normally do. Every time I play the course, I find myself getting better and better, and that's what you want in an edit course. You don't necessarily want an edit course or edit map that you can just do very easily. It's all about doing stuff you aren't that familiar with to get better at editing. I've also made a video on my channel of the top five edit maps, if that's something that would interest you. I do plan on making another massive edit map this week, so stay tuned for that. And now the second last tip for the video is trigger stoppers. So as most of you know, I did make a video on how to make your own homemade trigger stoppers. I highly recommend that video if you haven't watched it already. I've had so many people send me photos of making their own homemade trigger stoppers from watching my video and everyone legit loves them. So basically all I did was just super glue a bit of cable tie to the trigger there. And as you can see, it stops the trigger from going all the way in. It only costs about $5 and it's well worth doing because it honestly will double your editing speed. Most expensive controllers do come with trigger stoppers. I know the Astro C40 does, the Scuf does, the Elite does, the Razer Aju does. But if you aren't looking to spend over $200 on a controller and you just want a cheap alternative that works just as well, then the homemade trigger stoppers are the way to go. And the last tip I have for you guys is just be consistent. Nothing beats getting better at something than being consistent with it. If you do want to become the fastest controller editor or the most underrated console player, then it's honestly all about grinding the things that you aren't that good at and becoming the best you can possibly be. And that all comes from consistency. I don't play the game near as much as most creative people because I spend so much time making videos. But even then, I still manage to stay very good at the game because I keep my consistency. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did make it all the way to the end, drop a sunset emoji in the comments. I really hope this video helps you become a lot faster editor. I got some really awesome content coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.